Well, I got this plumbing project going on here, and um, believe me, it wasn't voluntary. It needs to be done, and I'll get into that here in a little bit as to why. But I thought I would take the time to make some videos and pass on the information that I've gathered and what I've got going on so that any of you out there that have questions about your plumbing, um, you know, you run into the same thing or you don't know about this or that. I know it's hard to get plumbers out to houses these days because a lot of them are so backed up. Um, you know, service industry is just going crazy. But, you know, if you're in an emergency, you know, maybe I'll have some information that could help you out to get you patched up long enough to wait till the plumber comes out or be able to you know, go about fixing the, uh, the issue better later on yourself or however. Um, but anyway, I want to start with this stuff right here because this is the root of my problem that I've got going. And this is what they call Quest. It's this gray flexible tubing. It was very common during the uh, 80s, mid 90s, and then it just stopped being used because they realized this is not good stuff to be used. You can see it's very flexible. That's one of the main reasons why they used it. It's um, it's like an older, an older version of PEX that we have today that we use for everything, but not as good. Some people will tell you, oh, the tubing's pretty good. It's just that the fittings, you know, that's the problem is the fittings. Not necessarily. The thing with the tubing is, if it's in the wrong conditions, it will dry out, it will get brittle, or if, uh, you know, you got some nasty water going through there, it could cause issues you know some kind of chemical reaction and dry the stuff out and it gets brittle and you know one of the main reasons why they were using this is because instead of pvc or cpvc where you'd have to cut the pipe put a 45 in it cut the pipe put a 90 in it and all that stuff with this you can just flex it right around so you have less times you're cutting the pipe less fittings you know save time save materials and all that stuff but if you get to if, if you get get the wrong stuff in there or the um the uh, material of the pipe dries out and gets brittle and you've got that corner there all of a sudden it's gonna start cracking it's gonna get weak and you got that water pressure building up and phew, there it goes a pinhole and it's just gonna keep eating out from there and keep going we did not have that problem as you can see this stuff is still pretty flexible it wasn't in any harsh elements um, none of the stuff in our water caused any damage to it but the fittings that connect all this stuff are copper and uh, they got the copper rings on here and the issue with this stuff is it does not hold up to our water this looks great no issues with this but um, you'll see later on what I'm talking about here so this is a this is half inch quest right here that, that I've got and this T has barbs on it on it on all three sides and you slide the uh, the pipe over top of it and then you use these rings here to clamp down on the on the tubing to hold it tight a lot like PEX you know that's why everybody says oh this is like an older version of PEX because it works very similar um, but anyway this fitting right here this looks great compared to uh, the other ones that I've been dealing with and I'll show you the main culprit that I have this one right here this is half inch and this was a fitting uh, the pipe came out of our hot water heater there was a T went that way and this way and right here so corroded up it just blew right apart blew apart in the floor dumped all the water out of the hot water heater and if we would have been home I would have kept on going luckily we were home um, caused a decent amount of damage we had to cut the floor up and all that stuff repair a couple pieces to get the plumbing back up and working and now I'm just getting rid of all this because I thought well obviously if this was corroded and blew out chances are we got it somewhere else too right and sure enough not too far from that we had this three-quarter inch line coming from the water heater that elbow is completely created uh, corroded the bands are corroded there's corrosion running down the pipe you know this was getting ready to go at any point and the other thing is this this corrosion you know that's not just on the outside if you could see in there better um, you would see that the corrosion also gets on the inside of the fitting so if you don't have the proper filters and other stuff in the uh, in the, the pipes and your plumbing to eliminate that stop that then that's going through your drinking water your cooking water your shower your toilet your bathroom sink your dishwasher and that's not going to be very good 
So those there were two really bad ones. Um, you know, this one here, this is a uh, half coming off of a, of, of a, we got a, a T with half coming off of it. And then this part right here is three quarters. And you can see that one's not bad at all. That one still looked good, but not going to save that one and save this quest tubing, <laughs> you know, to let this happen later on down the line. I'm just going to replace all of it. Here's another one. Looks good on, on this side here. Not too bad, but you flip it over. It's got a lot going on there. So, I mean, it's just, it wasn't worth it to patch it here and there. And just the more you read about quest or polybutylene, however you want to search for it, the worse you're going to feel about this stuff if it's in your house and you're going to want to get it out of there right away. Um, also, not too far from where this happened and where this was at, I found this gem from previous owners of the home. Apparently, this T, which was like this, must have sprung a leak and this is what they did. Wrapped these strips of rubber around here some hose clamps the hose clamps are about to rot out this was in the floor that was in the floor you could see it was already seeping and yeah that was wonderful so we're getting all of that out of there done with it replacing it all with with pex and we are using fittings that will not corrode so we're not gonna have to worry about that and i'm actually putting in a system that's going to be even better than this because we're not going to have all these extra fittings the T's, the elbows, and all that stuff, we will have as few of them as possible in the floors and in the walls. I mean, we're ripping everything up and redoing it from top to bottom, front to back. Um, here's another example, you know, when they, when uh, we talk about the corrosion and stuff, this is the valve for the wash machine. And this is plastic, so you might be thinking, well, you know, there's not a whole lot of options for uh, stainless steel or brass I'm sorry, a stainless steel or a plastic valve, you know, you're pretty much stuck going with brass or chrome plated brass. How about if we just re reuse these because it's got threads right here, you know, can't we find an adapter to put that on? It's plastic, it won't corrode. These things are so restricted inside, this part here especially, because this actually had an adapter on it to go up from, from this size to the size needed for your your hose to run to your washing machine. So yeah, if you have that on there, you don't know what you're looking at, it looks like, oh yeah, you know, that's not bad at all. But the flow through these valves are so restricted and Quest is just going away, period. So if you use this, something happens to this, you're probably not gonna be able to replace it anytime. So you're gonna have to get something better or newer anyway. So you might as well just eliminate these two rather than trying to reuse them. And when I say that these things are really restricted, it's restricted if you're looking at it this way and if you look at it from the uh, part here where the water comes out because the, the hole in there is so small and then you've got the stem going down through for your valve to turn the water on and off it is just not worth saving that and this might not have been leaking when we took everything apart but if you've got this setup right here and then this is what goes on the bottom that this threads onto you can see there's a, a compression fitting in there so if you have this, think about this. You have a spot where this could leak right here because the compression fitting, it could leak up here at these threads and because of that compression fitting, it could leak here where the valve, uh, the, the stem for the valve goes down through. It could leak right here where this adapter is put on and it could leak out here where the actual hose attaches to it. You've got a lot of places where this thing could leak What's the point in keeping it? Again, Quest, get rid of it all. Now, a lot of people will say, well, if you do have a leak, you know, to get by, you can use a shark bite on this Quest to, you know, cut out the bad spot. Or, you know, if it's a if it's a, an elbow like that, you can just use a shark bite on there. A lot of people will tell you, you can just use a regular shark bite. You won't have any problems. You know, they've used them. They've held up. I don't believe in that. I, I don't believe that, and I don't believe in using the regular shark bites on them. And I have a really good reason for that, but before I show you my really good reason, I'm going to show you a shark bite that was actually on our Quest tubing for uh, who knows how long, because it was put there before before I was living here. And um, the shark bite, you can see what the water did to it. It's 
up here at the top. This is broken away, this collar. We couldn't even push that thing down if we wanted to, to release it. That got all brittle. I believe this was on the hot water side. I'm thinking that's probably what happened there. Um, corroded up at the top. You can see the corrosion running down the tubing. And that's the main reason why I don't like to use shark bites or anything brass or copper in our lines. If we can get away with you know, using something else, plastic or stainless steel, I'd rather do that because I want to fix this stuff so it's going to last pretty much for as long as I'm around. Um, again, uh, this is corroded on the outside, so you know it's corroded on the inside and going through all your water. And the thing with the shark bites are, okay, you can get away with that for a little while. And if you were, if you're eliminating your quest, you know, you're doing like one room at a time, you come out of your bathroom, say, you know, you, you ran all new PEX or all new PVC, CPVC, whatever in your bathroom, and you come out, you still have quest running through there, you're doing it like a room at a time. Um, they will tell you that you could take the, the shark bite and connect it to your your PVC or your CPVC, your PEX or whatever, and then to your um, quest. Some people do that, and it, it works. I mean, this had to hold up for a little while, but they actually make a fitting specifically for going from uh, CPVC, PEX, and all that to, or copper to, to Quest. This is it from Sharkbite right here. And you can see it says half by half PB for polybutylene. And it says right on the bag, polybutylene adapter. One side of this is gray. That ring right there is gray. That's the side your Quest goes into. The other side is just the regular tan collar. And this will seal up better around the Quest. So if you're using it, whether it's temporary, whether it's, um, you know, something that's got to last for uh, you know, a couple months till the plumber can get back out, you get your supplies, whatever, this is the better option to go with than just a regular old shark bite. It's going to be more expensive, but again, it's going to be a better option. And you know that there must be something with just using a regular shark bite on the uh, the Quest tubing because Shark Bite makes this specifically for using it with Quest. That's why I would suggest using this. We used a couple of them. You know, I'm going through right now and I'm eliminating the Quest a little bit at a time here and there. So places where I do have to hook back into the Quest, I'm using this and then running my PEX into the other side. And um, then I can take this out, put a PEX fitting in the line and then move this on down the line to the next room where I'm going into and I, I need to tap into the quest that's there so we can keep doing this as we're using the rooms and as we're living daily lives and in need of water. So remember that half by half PB if you're looking for something to connect your, your copper, your CPVC, your PEX um, to quest get the right fitting so you don't have any more headaches than you already got. Now with our system um, we're eliminating all this going to eliminate as many fittings like this in the walls and in the uh, the floor and all that stuff like I said. So we're going to use a manifold system and that's something I'm going to get into in an upcoming video. We're going to get the manifold system, uh, what the other options are as far as your connectors for, for PEX uh, because a lot of people they see all the brass fittings at Home Depot, Lowe's, the local hardware store. You think man this is some pretty heavy duty brass fittings here probably gonna last me forever I'll just use them because that's what they have the majority of right not necessarily and again shark bite that's a brass fitting that's what you're gonna get if you got water like we do so that's gonna do it for this video here about the quest and the issues with it and everything um, but make sure to check out the videos that we've got coming up later on down the road here where we get into all those things like the manifold system the pecs the different types of fittings to use with pecs and uh, some other plumbing stuff that I've picked up along the way and learned. So that hopefully, like I said, if you have an issue, you can take care of it yourself, at least get it fixed up to where it's not leaking, not causing any more damage, and we'll hold up until a plumber gets out there to fix it for you, or you have the time to take everything apart and fix it correctly, permanently. Um, that's gonna do it for this video here. As always, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our channel.